We appreciate RTC putting this on tonight for us. And we had one year off. We was here two years ago doing this and had a year off. And now we're back. Maybe a one-year contract, maybe one game. <laughs> we just don't we'll know. See how it goes, we right? just don't know yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out here. Tonight, Valley's in the white with their gold helmets and Bremen in the green. You know, we talk about that uh, getting back to Valley football. If you look at the assistant coaches here, it looks like to me all but two of them are Valley grads. Oh, again, so. that's nice. That's nice. Looks like we've got, for captains out there, Bryce Webster and Devin Bandow. Hope I pronounced that right. Looks like Valley won the toss. We're going to receive the ball. Here we go. We're going to see the offense right off the bat. All right. And that. And the sophomore quarterback, Tanner Trapiti, to lead the troops out for the first drive of the season. Hey, I got to watch him last week at the scrimmage game against Warsaw. And uh, I tell you, he was uh, had a good arm, could scramble. And like you said, he's just a sophomore. No doubt there'll be some growing pains, but should should no have doubt. A, be off to a good season. And yep. Kind of had some big shoes to fill. Alec Craig was an excellent quarterback yeah, the last couple a, years for us. He's like a three-year starter that we lost last year, but he'll be fine. Just for a few. Looks like we've got Jaden Conley, Conley. Yep. back deep here to receive the opening kickoff. Conley also just a sophomore. A lot of youth on the team. A lot of youth. Only eight eight seniors on the roster and uh, five, five senior starters. Yep. Rest underclassmen. Beautiful night here at Bremen. Kickoff's on its way. Conley will receive it. Conley's up 30. About the 34-yard line, Conley will. Valley will start at the 34-yard line. Good starting position here for the Vikings. Nice. Tanner Trapiti is number 10 there on your on your roster, and leading them out at quarterback. And then we've got uh, Alex Morrison at a uh, halfback, Cameron Parker at fullback, Wes Melanson at a flanker, Isaac Randall at a wide receiver. Bryce Webster at a tight end, Austin Vining at a tackle, Harry Johnston at a guard, Hunter Hyden at a center, Josh Hazard at a, the other guard, and Jose Rivera at the other tackle. Oh, we're going outside with Morrison. Morrison, A hey, breaks it for about eight yards. Nice looking nice, run there. Nice run, nice run. So good start for Valley here. Tanner getting to play. Morrison on the nine yard carry for the Vikings. Alex Morrison, he's a junior. Morrison again, looks like he's going to have a first down. All right, move the chains. Move the chains on the second play of the, of the game. Yep. Well, there's my first yep. <laughs> we got Nate as a cameraman here. He's a sophomore from Valley. Up the middle that time. Give to the fullback. Looked like maybe a little option play. I don't know if yep. he had the option there or if it was just a give all the way, but Parker could be a sign of something to come. Parker was the ball carrier. Gained about a yard on the play. 
Looks like they're kind of mixing it up here. It'll be interesting to see if we get into a, a third and long situation, you know, how the, how the passing game can look here. Yep. Oh, we might get to see it right here. It was a <laughs> short, short gain for uh, Morrison. Morrison again on the carry. Going to make it about third and eight. Coach Moriarty's pacing the sidelines there a little bit. <laughs> He's got to have a few nerves in his first, uh, I would first say. career yeah. game as a head coach. Been an assistant coach for a long time at different places before he came back to Valley. Well, Tanner's going to well, screen pass. pass. Oh, we got some open field. Uh, Cameron, might be close. Yep, might be close. Cameron Parker caught that screen pass. And I say, it's going to be real close. I say move the chain. Nope, they're going to go with fourth down and probably inches. Fourth and a very short. That's a good play. Offense good stays on the field. That's a nice pass from Tanner that time. So Morrison's got a little bit of speed there. Kicked it in. All right, here we go. Tanner comes to the sideline to get the play. It looks like Coach Weaver maybe is calling the offense. Quarterback keeper. And he's got he it. He got up. it. All right. Just, well, enough, just enough to just keep the enough. chains moving. That's all we want right there. Move the chains, eat the clock. Nice little drive so far. We haven't seen anything fancy out of him, but everything's no. been effective. Yep. The line's driving off the ball hard and blocking well. There's an option around the left side. Speedy keeps it. Oh, he does. Yeah. Looks like gain eight. Got some good vision there. Saw a little cutback lane to get a couple yep. extra yards towards the end of that run. It's too early to tell, but it does kind of mind you of an Alec Craig. A little bit there little on bit. that scramble. Yep. Let's go, Got a good crowd here tonight. Oh, this is a good crowd. Yep. Bleaches are almost full on the visitor side. Glad to see that. Oh, oh. no. Nope. Wes had the ball that time. Bremen sniffed that out. Number 89 there, he's not on the roster, but he, uh, he, he wasn't fooled out. on that one, was he? No, nope, no. Number 15, Wes, was the ball carrier. Melanson there. Melanson. The ball carrier. Well, we look like about a loss to five the way. Third and six now. Well, we get another third down play. It's a little toss out to the right side. Oh. He's running hard, still going forward. Go. Wow. I got it up there to a fourth and short where we can go for it again. This is four down territory no matter what, I, I unless they've so. got a field goal kicker that we don't really know about. I don't know. I, don't, I agree. I don't know. The fourth and one. Here we go again. Last time on the short yardage, uh, Tanner kept it behind center there for a first down. Yeah, let's see if they do the same sort of thing and think they can just outman the line or if they get a little more creative on this fourth down. I'd run behind that line. Looks like there's a little size over there behind Rivera, 6'2", 190. Well, oh, he's going to keep it outside this time. He got it. All right, first down. You know, Trapiti's not a, not a real big, big kid there, 5'8", 140, but he lowered his shoulder and, and yep. got that first yep. down there. And then took the hit at the end, so. All right. That's our third first down now. Or 
Is that fourth first down? Third or fourth? Third. Third. Third first down. Little run and shoot formation. Oh, he's in a scramble. <laughs> oh, he got there it. There you go. Oh, hey, there could be a late hit right there. Yeah. Well, he, he got away and made a little something out of nothing on yes, that play. Yes, he did. Yep. They had him by the jersey, and he was able to squirm away. Looked like he had the, the motion man went out in the flats there and looked like he had him open, but he just never had time to look that way. He had, he was, had to look and scramble there early. Morrison's in the backfield with Webster going there. in motion. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's going to be close to another first down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like third down and... Two. Nice. That Morrison looks like a hard runner, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He Heard a nice little drive again. Here we go. Well. Toss out to the right. Ooh. I think he gained about three or four on the play. Looks like it's going to be enough for a first down. Ooh. First Morrison down, yeah. again. Yep. Another nice hard run. There was yes, a little bit was. of a hole there for him to get in and get the first down. Seemed like the O line's doing their job. And Absolutely. That time he ran in behind Harry Johnston and uh, Jose Rivera on the right side that time. I was coming back to the left. Oh, he. <laughs> power football it right is. now. Is there's, there's power nothing football. Yep. speed about it at this point, but yep. there's just a lot of power. And the, the yep. whole, all the players seem to move downfield. It looks yep. like our whole offense is running downhill at this point, which is looking good. We've got a timeout on the field here. In a drive like this, mostly run plays here, and there's been no flags either. So, some clean football no, right now. It's been a good, clean first drive yep. here. Hope we don't hope we don't jinx them by mentioning <laughs> that. <but. laughs> some motion to the right. Another little power play up the middle. This time, it looks like it's. Uh, Jaden Conley on the carry. Number 28, Jaden Conley coming in at running back here for a carry. <clears throat> Picks up a first down, makes it first and goal from the nine. Oh, oh nice. Again up the middle, this time Cameron Parker on Parker. the carry. Yep. On a drive like this, we need to punch it in then. Yep. You got to end it. And end it with some points. 
We're down to under four minutes here in the first quarter. We've just chewed away this first quarter, and we're down inside the down to the seven yard line now. Be great to end this with a oh. positive note of a touchdown. Yep, agree. So it's second and seven now. Second goal from the seven. Little option play. Yep. Bremen was there to make the stop. They kind of plugged that hole up. Looked like they had the pitch man covered and then come down in on the quarterback to make the tackle on Trapiti there for no gain. Third and seven, what do you think we're gonna do? Inside the 10 here, third and goal. Be conservative and kind of run it again and hope you get out of here with three points if you can't punch it in or maybe uh, they put it in the air. I say they put it in the air or uh, look out for West number 15. And we're, oh, oh, a little reverse, right. look at that. I was right oh, nice hard run. I think he got it in. Hey, oh, look at that. Well, I did, I had the, I had the name right. A little counter there. play and he yeah. West lowered his shoulder and absolutely ran one of the Bremen yep. lines over. Nice. All right, that's what we like right there. Chew up the clock like that. Now it looks like we've got Domingo Santiago in for the extra point. Good snap. Down, hey. it's up. Yeah. That yeah, we got a 7 nothing ball game here. Good drive. Excellent Good open drive. drive. The high season. fives are coming out. The crowd's standing. You got to like it. It's got to be a good sign for the season ahead. Yep, I agree. And it's got to be a confidence booster for the coaching staff and the young team, really. Yep. yep. We got Coach J Mo down there in front yep. of us. So we got Coach J Mo down in front of us. <laughs> Coach Moriarty's wife. <laughs> well, now we get to see the defense. Yep. First time this season, right? That's right. A couple articles I read coming in this week uh, sounds like they're. Their motto is, you know, they're not going to be out hit, and they're going to hit harder than everyone and be in better shape. So let's just see what kind of hitting the, the Viking defense can do. Line, Ooh, 77 crushed it. Nice kickoff. Got oh, it. Nice, nice one. There we go. Good, there you go. Start let's start on, on that, hit. too. Absolutely. All right. Offense looked good. Special teams looked good. Look like That's a John, up now. Looks like John Humes in there on the tackle is one of them. And <laughs> it might seen last week just in a scrimmage game against Warsaw. It just seemed like the players are just always pumped up all the time, encouraging yeah. each other, and that's always a good sign. Absolutely, that intensity can just keep carrying them through the through the game here. They've got a 4-3 defense. Pass right off the bat from Bremen. He's behind the second. Oh. I don't know if he lost it in the sun there. but Just overthrew him a little bit overthrew there. Overthrew him a little. And Alex Morrison was patting his chest like, chest like he knew he was beat on that one. Yep. He kind of got lucky there. So chalk that up as a learning experience. No harm, no foul. And we'll move on. That would have been a quick six right there for Bremen if that connected. That could have, yeah, that really kind of deflated the sails that yeah. first drive. But we'll see now, second and ten. A little pitch out to the left. Oh, he's got some room. He does have some room. Morrison's not going to get him. him. He is not going to get him. I see no flags. Like a they touchdown. got a touchdown. 
Touchdown by Nathan Mullen for a, That's a nice run in there. Nice run. An 80 yard a little stamper there. Run. Yep. Yep. Well. I guess we're going to see the offense again. <laughs> <laughs> we hope for another seven minutes, right? <laughs> and seven points. And seven points, yeah. I get the first game jitters out for the defense. And yeah. They'll be all right here. Ooh. Oh, nice. He come close to blocking that one. Laid yes. out. Yeah, he laid that out. And Devin Bandow on the nice. effort there. Yep. He'll get one of those if he keeps that effort up on yep. those. I agree. So that brings the score to seven to seven with a minute 58 to go in the first quarter, Doug. Yep, that was about a minute and 30 second drive there. Two plays and. Got coach Chad Patrick out there too. Looks like he's talking to the kickoff team or the kick return team a little bit. He's the new varsity boys basketball coach also for the Vikings. Some room. Nice little move. Back out to the 35. Nice return by Jaden Conley on that one. He's going to break one of those. Yes, he is. Yep. Well, Vikings come out in the offense now for their second drive of the season. Looks like Conley's going to come in at tailback again for. This play, Morrison playing both ways, offense and defense, so give him a little breather here. Oh, be up the middle to Conley. And Conley, hey, he was met. There was two lions there ready to. They roared that time, they? met they? him right at the line of scrimmage. Lost about half a yard on the play. In the I formation again. PD under center. Drops back to pass it. Oh, tip. It's like he had a window there, and I can tell if that's uh, number six maybe for for Bremen. Looks like Zachary Jarnecki on the breaks up that pass. Looks like he's trying to hit Bryce Webster on that one. Number 40. Yeah, and it looked like there was a window maybe just yeah, it was. for just a, a brief a moment. There's another pass. That time he connects with Noah Miller. Number 35 there on a quick little slant pass for four, for five yards. That would bring fourth down. Though. Brings up fourth and five and the punt team out for the first time of the night. Looks like Trapiti's gonna be back as the punter this time. And we got a flag on the play. 
Oh. Too many men? No. Yep. 12 men on the field, yep. looked like. I even saw uh, Morrison gave a thumbs up over after he counted, so. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe that's something this we need to work on just one more time <laughs> next week. <laughs> Be all right here, backs him up fourth yeah. and ten, so we're going to punt it away. Oh. Ooh, a low punt, dribbles back to Trapedi. Get a favorable bounce, though. Yep. In fact, they'll start about at the 45. Well, one way to solve that is um, just not have the punt team have to come back out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get much uh, more practice. That's right. That's a good point. You see Ben Adams down in front there. He's going to probably get the crowd going here in a little bit. He's the legend. That's what his shirt even says. That's what his shirt says. <laughs> <laughs> so the Lions are lined up in the eye formation now with a, a run off to the left side up the middle. Met by, looks like, Isaac Randall and a couple other Vikings there on that tackle after a gain of about four. That's the end of the first quarter. We got a 7-7 ball game. Every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Teams have flipped around, ready to start the second quarter. Bremen with the ball on second and six at the midfield line. Hand it off to 24, Nathan Mullen off to the right side. Yeah, he's still pushing the pile too, isn't he? That's gonna bring up a third down, probably three, two. Took a host of Vikings to bring him down on that yep. play. It's gonna be third and, third and about three there, I think, Doug. And yep, third and three. See if the defense can Need a stop here. Get a big stop. Go back. Hand off up the middle and he's Ooh. upended. It's going to be real close to the first down. Mm, who was in on that tackle? Looks like maybe uh, maybe Jalen Shepard. Oh, they're was getting in. the first down. I thought maybe they'd bring out the chains for a measurement, but he must have got enough. The officials could see that it was far enough, couldn't they? Yep. Or not see. <laughs> <laughs> or not see, right? <laughs> Lines are up under center this time. Oh. You know, fake the pass. Ooh, nice, fake, nice fake, one. Yeah. Fake the little toss pass. Yeah. And then, or total toss and then pass it over the middle. That That's was great. Right. Good, good defense there. Potter there, number 29. Is that who broke that up, Jalen Potter? Yep. Nice job in the secondary. That was by nice. Him. If he didn't break that up and he made that catch, there he had some green grass ahead yes, of him. Yes, he did.
Well, now it'll be second and ten. Freeman's got two wide receivers off here to the left side. Oh, looked like they went with a hard oh. count there, and we just about yeah, got just about got us off sides, but it didn't. And nice stop there. And up getting stopping them for a short gain. Bring up a third and long now. Secondary ought to be ready this time. Yep. I don't think Bremen's afraid to air it out a little bit if they need to. Not the way it's looked early in this game. You got to wonder though if they're in four down territory here. I would if think they, they get would four be. Four or five on this play or something. They. Yeah, they might kind of go with that strategy. Yep. Like oh, we got. It. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh no. Maybe a holding penalty though. So let's see what they call here. Looks like we brought the house on that one. Yes. And caused the fumble. I, I didn't see who broke the ball loose there, not to loose, but it looks like uh, number 40 Potter or, or no. Uh, Josh Hazard, Hazard recovered the fumble yep. though. I'm okay. not sure who who caused it though. I missed that. But. Looks like it's gonna be. Uh, Webster was pretty pumped up. Holding there, so. penalty on the Lions. So right. that'll, that'll no doubt be declined. Alright, there we go. Typical New Valley D ball. Yep, D stepped up that time. Nice job, D. Yeah, they brought the house, didn't they? Absolutely <laughs> did. There was no mortgage on that house, I'll tell you. They brought them. <laughs> That's gonna be uh first and ten from the forty one for the Vikings. This will be our third drive. Third drive, score seven to seven with 9.51 to go in the first half. Tanner under center again. Looks like it's gonna be a toss out to the right. Did you see uh, Tanner toss that out there and then he turns around to kind of lead block up through the hole. Looks like Conley on the carry yep. for a gain of about two, maybe a long one. Bring up second and nine according to the scoreboard. If it was a home game, it'd be second and eight, I think. It's just that close to in between. Uh oh, oh, nice Keeps keeper, it. oh yeah. We gotta get the corner over there. Makes the guy move. Oh, we got a flag. Looks like maybe a clip, maybe as he got to the corner. One of the Lion defenders was coming up and got clipped there. Looked like maybe Isaac Randall got him in the back as he was trying to trying to hustle to make a good block and just couldn't make it happen there. So see what the call is though. No penalty on the play. Oh, so that's good. Yeah. Nice break for the Vikings. All right. He just maybe had to blow his nose or something there. <laughs> Threw the Hanky, Hanky out. Thank you. It's like third and eight now, so gain of about a yard. He ran a long way on that play to get only a yard. We'll run and shoot, mo long motion to the Ooh. left. Yep, that's on us, it's flag on us. Did we start early? Yes, we did. They'll yeah. probably take the play though, won't they? I would think. the penalty and take the play. After a sack of a loss of about 10. Yep. It's gonna make it fourth and close to 20 now. Maybe yep. it's fourth and 18. Well, we'll see our second punt then. First game for the yard marker, chain gang crew too. The Oh. Down marker, he left a little early before seeing what yes, the penalty was. Yep. <laughs> yep. Now they get it all started. Now we're going to bring the punt team back out. Let's see if we can get 11 on the field this time and we'll get a good punt off. We got a good opportunity to pin him deep here with, with the ball at midfield on this fourth down. Trapedi set as the punter. Did the head count? Wait, it looked there. Be the second punt for him. Another low, low snap, snap again. 
Yeah, he got off. Nice punt, though. Got it right there. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice play. Nice play. Number six. Like Devin Bandow on that tackle. That was nice. That's one of them seniors' leadership there. That's where you're supposed to hustle downfield and exactly make a tackle. Right. A good Absolutely. open field tackle there. Absolutely. I thought the Bremen guy had done a good job coming up to receive the ball there because I thought it would have bounced there. Absolutely, and if that would have hit the ground and, and rolled, it might have been an opportunity I think to inside the 10. Real yeah. deep, yep. Viking defense lines up here. Bremen's in the shotgun this time. Three wide receivers off to the far side. Gonna kind of roll out a little boot pass. Oh, yeah! Morrison just Morrison about stepped about in front of that. Yep. That would have been a pick six, no doubt, if he could have got his hands on that one. Definitely would have been that, wouldn't it? He was green grass ahead of him. Now the defense since the first series is kind of stepping up here a little bit, so. They have. So, still 7-7, second quarter. Bremen, up quick, the middle. quick run up the middle that time. It's like Alex Morrison in on the tackle along with Jalen Shepard. But not before he gets the first down. So now it'll be first and 10 from the 37. Me another one up the middle. A gain of about six. So right now up the middle, it just looks like uh, those interior three of Bremen's offensive line just, you know, able to open up some holes there and get the Vikings uh, defensive line kind of on their heels a little bit. See if they can get low and plug that hole. Yep. Little option out to the right. Getting close to the first down. Looks like Melanson up, comes up and trips him up. A little short of the first down. Going to be about third and one. Another big third down for the defense. Well, it seemed like that first quarter just flew by, and this second quarter is just <laughs> taking a little longer, isn't it? a little it? longer, isn't it? Oh, there's movement. There's movement. Take them back five. Like a false start on yep. him. Bremen. Third and six, 7.01 to go in the second quarter here. Still all tied up at seven apiece. We've got Bremen coming to the line now on this third down. Quarterback's under center. Secondary probably should be ready here for a pass. Ooh, up oh, a little, little counter play. And there was definitely a hole there. There was definitely a hole. Nice job by Isaac Randall and Bandow, though, for kind of closing that hole and mm -hmm. keeping that from being a longer run than it could have been. <laughs> That'd be first down now for Bremen. Oh, get him. 
Boy, he got some yardage there, didn't he? Yep, he was able to get around the corner. Come on, Valley. Hey, a gain of about three on that play. He's second down eight. We got Bremen in the shotgun this time. Vikings are in a 4 3 defense. Kind of split out wide, kind of spread offense. Completes that to Nathan Mullen. He was wide open wide there open. when yep. that was an easy pitch and catch there. And gets that down inside the 10, down near the five yard line, it looks like. Bremen's going into the sunset here. And yeah. The sun will be down below the trees soon, but maybe it can uh, affect their vision on one of these plays. There you go. The there you go. Just a bit. <laughs> it's hurting my vision. I know that. <laughs> That's first and goal now for Bremen. Right up the middle. On, yeah, we stopped in there. Nice job plugging the hole up. Looks like about looked that like, two-yard line there. Looked like Harry Johnson was down at the bottom of that pile. It looked like he did a nice job of kind of creating a pile right yeah. there, staying low and tripping up some of that offensive line. Yeah, number 67. Not allowing yeah. the, mm -hmm. the line to create a hole for the running back. Be second and goal for Bremen. Under center, he's going to be off to the right side again. And looks like touchdown. Made a couple of juke moves and yep. just able to squirt away from a couple, a couple would-be tacklers. So that puts Bremen on the board again. Puts them 13 to seven here with 4:59 to go in the first half before their extra point attempt. Need to see a little of that intensity stay on the sideline here. Yep, we need that. We need about a five minute drive here and in the first half. In the first half, Bremen will get the ball and start in the second half. Next points up yep. and it's good. good. Well we got a 14 to 7 Bremen lead over Valley right now. Second quarter. Funny game left, funny game left, Carlin. Absolutely, there's a lot of games still to go. We've got uh, Jaden Conley back there, Conley back there, that he could break one at any yes, moment. Yes, he can. We need to get that kid out on the track team. Line set up for the kickoff. We got Conley and Dakota Gaff. Ooh, ooh. Jalen Potter. Hit our own. Kind of fortunate to keep hold of that one there, aren't we? Yeah, we were on that one. The five minute drill here out of the offense. Five minutes to go here in the first half. The offense comes back out with four, down 14 to seven now. Since the first drive, Valley's maybe had maybe a couple of first downs and they haven't moved the ball haven't much since much, that so first drive, have they? I think this is our drive right here. It's like we got John Humes off. Split out to the right-hand side, the near side here to us. Melanson off to the left. 
little motion. Gonna give it off to. Well, you called Morrison right on that. You said he can break one, so. Yep, absolutely, he could. Must, must have heard you. Got a penalty flag on the field. Well, maybe he just dropped it again. <laughs> He's got a runny nose, I tell you. Gets that hanky out all the time. Vikings come to the line. Trapedi under center. Melanson to the near side this time. Humes off to the far side. Little counter play back to Melanson. He's going to be stopped for no gain, maybe just a short loss even. Going to bring up a third and third and close to nine. It's going to be a critical third down here yes, just to we keep the to. chains moving and keep Bremen's keep, offense yep. off the field. And Let's go offense. Let's get this first down now. Be a roll out off to the left. Oh, we got a guy open. Old West. Nice got it. Yeah. Lanson off to the right. far sidelines there in front of the Bremen bench. Yep. Nice. Nice touch on that pass nice. by nice Trapedi. Yep. Moves the chain, stops the clock. A lot of good things on that play. That was good. Yep. All right, Vikings come to the line. It's first and 10 from the 41 yard line. Gonna be up the middle. Ooh. Cameron Parker on that carry. Maybe gain a three. Three, maybe four. Second and seven here. <clears throat> Trapedi brings the troops back to the line. High formation, Morrison deep in the backfield. Looks like we've got Isaac Randall here to the near side split out. Gonna give it to Morrison again on the right side. Gain of just one on that play. Gonna bring up another third and long four or five here. You got a few different options here we can call. Yeah, when you get a third third down and four, it kind of opens the playbook up a little more. You can mm -hmm. keep it on the ground if you oh, want. Morrison there, he's limping off. All right, third and four, the crowd's getting into it a little bit. We'll pitch out. Oh, nice, nice hard run. run. Oh, yeah, he about broke that one. Nice job. Nice. nice job. Excellent blocking up front on that one. That play. was, yep. Nice hard run by Conley on that. Just if it wasn't for an arm tackle by the last Bremen defender there to make the stop, he might have just broke that. Keeps Valley's drive alive with 2.20 to go. Keeps the chain moving. Half. Like that. Just take it down to about the two second and score, and we'll be fine. I like your thinking. Yep. Well, Conley the ball. Again. That time. Yeah, we got stuff there. He was met by a few line, Bremen Lions there behind the line. Oh, I guess he gained a short gain on the yeah. play. Gain of about one. Petey waits for the signal call. We've got Potter split out here to the near side. Webster off to the far side. Melanson goes in motion. 
We're, we're moving. We had two guys yeah. moving again. Yeah, we did. <laughs> have to get those wing spots kind of shored up. Maybe there was a little confusion on who was supposed to go in motion maybe on that play. Yeah, we back us up five. Now, unless he just dropped his hanking in. Let's hope that's the case. <laughs> Nope, this is the real McCoy this time. Oh, yeah. Those the officials discuss it over there with the Bream and coaches, decide whether they want to back them up and replay the down or if whether they want to Take the short game. I say you back them up. I would think you? they'd want to back them up myself. And that looks yeah. like what they'll do. Now we've got a minute 22 left in the first half. Bremen up 14 7. Vikings have a second and 14 to go here after a penalty. Got some deep motion there by Melanson. Oh, oh, oh. Bubble screen. No, pass. no, I no. Think, I think hit, that hit, hit the, the ground. ground. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. He's signal, oh. signaling an interception. He gave the gave him the catch there. So that's going to be an interception by Trapedi. It looked like he got tipped maybe a couple yeah, times I, and, and an excellent catch by the Bremen Lion if he actually indeed caught it. Yeah, I, but, maybe Nate got that on camera there. Maybe we can see instant replay on that one. I don't know about right? that, but it looked like a bouncer there. But nonetheless, we'll go the other direction. <laughs> Lions are in the shotgun. No doubt going to try to Get a quick score here before yeah, that. There they go. Nope. That's a, we might have this one. How yeah. About, how about an oh. offensive pass interference? Yeah. Maybe? Good, excellent defense there by Cameron Parker, though. Fourteen-seven, Bremen. Minute eleven to go in the first half. Been a pretty good football game here for home opener for both teams. So far, it has been. And a few penalties that need cleaned up, and no doubt you're going to have that in the first game of the season. Get a few kinks worked out of things. Yep. Shotgun again. A little screen oh. pass this time. He's got some blockers out ahead of him. Isaac Randall there done a good job, number four. He looked like about the only man that could stop it, and he did. And he was kind of assisted on the tackle, looked like by maybe Wes Melanson. We got a timeout on the field. With 59 seconds to go in the first half as Bremen leads 14 to seven. Okay, after the timeout, Raymond coming back on the field here. Third down. Yeah, third and three. Need a big defensive stop. Oh, will be a pass. A little toss pass. Oh, yeah! Oh, he stay with it. Oh, nice job from Tanner. Yeah. Excellent nice defense. job. I keep losing that. No, I <laughs> Oh, nice job from Tanner there. 
Nice job, Trapedi, on that coverage. Way to on the little stay trick, home on trick that, play, yeah. and he yeah. stayed home. He and stayed home. And looked like he was almost able to reel that in for an interception. Good defensive play. Fourth down now. Looks like Bremen going to go for it here. I'd say they are. All right, let's hold them. Say be ready for a counter or something up the middle. Yep, They've that's what done I'm that on yep. these kind of fourth and three or four, maybe just a hard count trying to get the defense to jump off sides. Yeah, it didn't work. No. Yeah. All right, all right. They're going to try to pin us back then. No play timeout there by the Bremen Lions. And Coach Brown's out there in the huddle trying to get him fired up for this fourth down play. You ready for a, tr a fake pun or anything here? You just you just never know. You never know. When they're up 14-7, 50 seconds to go. Knowing that they can strike at any time. Right. If they get the ball. Cheerleaders getting the crowd into it now. There we go. Lions are full house backfield here, up under center. Looks like they're going to go with something power up the middle. Oh, he's going to keep it. Roll it out for a little pass play. He's got a man. Petey on the coverage. Oh, interference, maybe. No. Oh, okay. Well, Excellent job yeah. there. <laughs> that was borderline there. He's got to be careful on that, but a good defense. All right, now we got 43 seconds here to try to tie this thing up right before the half. We can do it now. Could be an exciting, exciting 43 second drive. We'll probably see some rollouts now from Tanner. I would think we'd get a chance to see Tanner try to air one out. We might run it. We've got uh, all three timeouts left. Or we just got two left. Yeah, I don't know who called that timeout earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure either. And drop back to pass it. Webster. Finds Webster out in the flats. Webster's a big boy. Yeah. Catches that ball out there. It's hard to bring him down. It's just a way to eat a little time off the clock here. Oh. 14-7. 37 seconds to go in the first half. He was able to step out of bounds. Stop the clock. Calling a second and three on the scoreboard. It's a long three probably, but in the 47 yard line. And drop back and for another pass. About the same location. Only hit. Nice job. Hit Randall that time. Yep, Randall right along the sideline. Good job of keeping his feet in bounds. Yeah. I had a good view right there. there. You can see that, that he was, was right on that sideline. Yes, he was. Yeah. Spin around, make a guy miss, gain another yard, and then still get out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Now we got a. Uh, looks like we got trips off to the far side there. Three wide receivers out wide. Tight end here on the right hand side. Looks like Webster's gonna stay in a block. Gotta scramble a little bit. Got oh nice oh, no. catch! Nice yeah. catch! Way to go, Isaac! Way to go up and get that by Isaac Randall. Nice job. Yeah, that was real nice. Keeps the chains moving. Stop the clock. Timeout by the Vikings.
Okay, after the timeout. 20 seconds to go, first and 10 from the 24 for the Vikings. Trying to punch it in, get a score here to end the first half. Pass by Tanner Trapedi. Shepard on the receiving end. Yeah. Nice. All the way around. Excellent concentration to catch that down between a couple defenders. That was a fabulous way to end the first half. Nice job. Get a little of that uh, excitement back that they had after that first drive. Yep. Now we got to mow a little bit here on our side again. Now it's going to be a game of one half here. If we get this extra point through. Well, Bremen's still got about 15 seconds here. In the first half. What we got going now? We got a timeout by the Vikings. Something wasn't quite right on the PAT team there, and that's kind of a. It's all right. We got a timeout to use here to yep. end the first half, so we get the personnel we need because this point could be important. Tie this up going into the going into halftime. Okay, after timeout, Vikings line back up for the PAT. <laughs> Santiago set to kick it. It's off and it's up. Ooh. Oh, just oh. missed off the left side. It looked like it might even have clipped that left upright. It looked like it did, yeah. So well, that's well. all right. Good. Brought it back within one here to end. Yep, good drive. 14 seconds to go in the first half, so we're gonna have to kick it off here, and kickoff team's gonna have to have some good coverage. I'm gonna guess Bremen's probably gonna have about one play, maybe two. Coach Moriarty looks fired up on the sidelines there. <laughs> no doubt that won't be the last time we see him fired up on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt at all. Got the Vikings set to kick off. We got Rivera set to kick. Nice deep kick. Oh, nice kick. Over his head. It's going to bounce into uh, the end zone for a touchback. No, nice. that's good. That's yeah. Pin him at the 20 yard nice. line here. The only thing, no time ran off the clock. So that was the only thing in Bremen's favor on that kickoff. But they've got a long way to go in 14 seconds. So. Defense, just play them deep and play them deep. Don't yep. let anybody behind you. Secondary. Looks like we're going to send uh, number six, Devin Bandow, deep here to kind of play a deep safety. Hope not let anybody behind us. <clears throat> Maybe we can, defensive line can kind of tee off just a little bit here maybe and get after the quarterback, rush him. Just be ready for a little screen pass or something quick where the linebackers need to come up and make a good tackle. <clears throat> Freeman is are under, coming in under center. Going to pitch it out. Able to run him out of bounds right. about the 40-yard line. About seven seconds to go in the first half. Gain of about 20 yards there. Brings it down to under seven seconds. Go, 
Looks like we got a timeout on the field called by the Vikings. Going on, so she's made some friends already. Yeah, yep. <laughs> All right, 6.8 seconds. They're going to pitch it out to the left again. Let He's got some blockers. Just let him run it out. There, there, we go. Go. there, there we it go. Out. First half. The only harm there was just a added a few rushing yards on the stat sheet. But that's okay. the end of the first half here in Bremen where Tippecanoe New Valley trails the Bremen Lions 14 to 13 here on RTC TV4. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master Instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. <laughs> Every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. 
Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. I am for the child. I'm for the child that has been abused or neglected. I'm for the child that has been moved from foster home to foster home. I'm for the child born addicted to drugs. You can't control where abused and neglected children come from, but you can help with where they end up. Lift up a child's voice, a child's life. Volunteer to be an advocate for a child in need of a voice. Call Casa of Fulton County to learn more. We've got five minutes to go in halftime here, and we've got a lovely lady here. Uh, Lori Miller, she's going to talk about an event coming up August 26th at the Akron Church, or Akron... Hi, my name is Lori Miller. I'm with the Wills on Fire Cancer Crusaders. We're a mission of the Beaver Dam United Methodist Church, and we're a small group that is um, fighting the fight against cancer, and we're having a smash-out event next Saturday, August 26th, at the Akron Community Building. It's going to start at 3 o'clock. Um, registrations, we've got all different kinds of games coming up. We've got three-on-three -three basketball with Bill and Chad Patrick. We've got a Valley Pee Wee football combine going on with Josh Durf and Stephen Morardi. And we've got Joe Carlin doing a volleyball, a sand volleyball tourney. We've got Micah and Gus Lukens doing a cornhole tourney. We've got a euchre tourney. We've got lots of food. Um, we'll be having at 8 o'clock a pie and cake auction by Bill Leininger. Um, and then at 9 o'clock, we'll be having luminaires lit and lanterns, Chinese lanterns, that we will light and um, in memory or in honor of someone who's had cancer who has passed away from cancer. So, um, so far this year, we've raised close to um, $11,000, and um, we give... Last year we gave 5000 to the Fulton County Cancer Care Fund and 5000 to the K-21 Foundation in Kosciuszko County. So the money goes directly back into our counties for people who need help with their bills um, who are fighting cancer. They will help you with medical bills, electric bills, gas cards, or whatever you need. So um, we're real excited to be in this and hope that you can bring your kids and your families out to um, the Akron Community Building next Saturday, August 26th, to fight the dreaded disease that we've all been affected by. So thank you so much. Thank you, Lori, for that. Hey, we're back from halftime here. But Bremen ahead 14 to 13 over Valley. Getting ready to start the third quarter. What did you think of the first half there? Not too I, bad, was it? I Doug? thought we was back to some Valley football there. And yep, there were some good hits. Some uh, really, we only gave up one one big play there. And other than that, it was really an even, evenly fought battle. And it just seemed like you know Bremen had the ball more and was driving, it but it you know it's still only 14 to 13. After that and first we long was, drive we yeah. had, and then yeah. they kind of controlled the ball, but we kept them out of the end zone. Yeah, like as we say, other than that yep. long drive and that long play, and then they had a little bit of a short field here and scored a touchdown. We got one other score from the area. Castens leading West Central 13 to 0 in the third quarter. <sighs> Vikings will start out on defense this second half. <clears throat> so kick off to Bremen. Crowd still hanging in there. Beautiful night for football. Suns went down now. The stadium lights are on. That's what Friday nights are about right here. <clears throat> and Rivera set to kick off. Going to field it at about the... 20 yard line, spins around, gets it's in the, about 35. Yep, kind of got in the grasp there of one uh, Viking tackler and couldn't get away. Helped bring him down by a couple others. Looks like we got John, John Humes coming off there, making the tackle. Maybe Noah Miller. A couple other Vikings in on that tackle. Nice job. Okay, Bremen back out here. Lions offense back on the field. See what the Viking defense can do here. I think we can do it. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. We run off the left side. Oh, nice, nice. Came to maybe three. Nice defensive stop there by, uh, let's see if we can see who made that tackle. I think that was Jalen Shepard on the tackle. He did a nice job of shedding the blocker and wrapping up the running back. <clears throat> it's gonna be second and seven now for the Lions. They have two out split to right here. Gonna roll out on a pass play. He's got a little out Ooh. route. Uh oh. We've got a penalty coming in. Looked like that was after the whistle, Looks didn't like it? Maybe late hit here. Let's see what they call on that. Looked like he had a three receivers kind of different levels there. Yes. He had the short guy, the middle intermediate guy, and then the deep out. And he called the right one because I thought it was on the the deeper one. I thought we had an interception there. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. I thought we had the other two routes covered, and I didn't even see the short yeah, guy. I didn't either, the, be honest with you. I, until I know I said, woo, like, hey, we might have that one. <laughs> Let's see what they call. I mean, on the Lions. All right. Unsportsmanlike conduct on, on Graven, so back him up. Maybe the receiver came up spiking the ball or something and yeah, caught in a little bit. Couldn't see it was blocked by the sidelines. Either way, it's going to back him up and make it second and long. Oh, it should be should be third down though. That was after the play, correct? Uh, they still nope, got it's still second. Still going to be second down. Second, gonna, second and 11 then? We're going to replay second down. Yeah, I feel like that should be third down because that was I after think that's the whistle. What, I think that's what they're talking about right now. That's what they're going to do. Mm. Flip it to third down. So we got third and long. All right. Play. Good Lost call, Carlin. On that play. Yeah, that one, Eric Carlin there. He had that, right? Had a, had a line down to the field and got the ref straightened out on that one, didn't we? Yep. Now they're going to come back together. It's the first game of the week for the this crew also. Yeah. They're doing a nice job, though. Yes, they have. Now the one's talking to Coach Mo over here. The other one's going to the Bremen coach. They're talking over here. Oh. Marker guy, he says, I don't know. I got to flip. It's either a two or three. Maybe, maybe keep, one. Maybe if we keep going, it'll be a four. He's got one. Uh, <laughs> they got first and 11 on the scoreboard. Uh, so the confusion was because they got the first down. Uh, and it okay. was after the play. So they get the first down. And then takes them back. But I would think that the they would have to move the yard markers up to where the play ended. Nope, it's going to be at the spot of the... After the penalty, they mark it all. So they got a first down, what you're saying. But they got they, a first down, yeah, but, first they 10, 10 yards. but they lost 10 yards. But they lost the 10 yards. So we're kind of right where the yeah, right where we were before the sequence started. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come on, Harry. Ooh. Oh, we got. A, I don't know which way it's going to go here. Both ways. Did our guy get back? I don't know. Let's see if he crosses into the neutral zone or not, or. If the Bremen offensive lineman jump. Offside. It is going to be encroachment on the Vikings. Looked like that was on Rivera. He was kind yep. of hitting his helmet there in frustration with himself. It's all right. Shake it off. Yep. Get him next time. And the shotgun, a little fake hand off to the right and a little screen pass out to the left. Yeah, we had a host of Vikings there on the tackle. Nice pursuit, but not before not the first down. Not for the first down. We 
Freeman's going to bring it to the line. Quarterback's going to be under center this time. First and 10 on the 40 yard line. You're going to hand it off, make a quick little move off to the left side there. Oh, he's still going there. Good run. He's able to shake a few defenders off and he makes it into the end zone. Touchdown. That was a hard run there by uh, Nathan Mullen for the Lions. We got a Viking down here at about the 45 yard line. Can't see a number on the injured player. But it looked like we had a couple opportunities there to make the tackle. Yes, just we weren't did. able to yep. bring him down. He's a hard runner. I would guess by the end of the season, he's going to rack up quite a few rushing yards against all their opponents this year. And what grade's that guy in from Bremen the runner? He is just a junior. Just a junior. 6'2", 209. Good hard runner. Devin Bando, the one that was down for the Vikings there, he's, he comes off under his own power. Be able to walk that off and he'll be good to go. Just got an update on the Rochester game. Rochester's up 8-0 over Wabash with eight minutes to go in the game. Really? Nice for Rochester, huh? Coach Moriarty's out at the hash mark. They're still discussing something with the officials. Penalty on Bremen. There was a penalty. On Sportsman. Another one. I missed that. I don't know if it was there. Celebration? I think, I think it was in the end zone there. Okay. We'll back him up here on the PAT attempt. It's that good. might be big for us there. Yeah, absolutely. After missing the PAT, that brings if if they can miss theirs, if we'll be back within seven, seven points. This turns into a 35-yard uh, PAT attempt. Uh, we'll probably move them five yards closer Encroach, now. Yep, encroachment on the Vikings. Going to give them five yards back. I wasn't able to see who that was that yeah. jumped. It must have been on the far side. Guess it was a, it's a ten yard, no, five yard penalty. Yep, five yard penalty. It's down. Oh, we got a block that time. All right, nice. you called that earlier. Nice job by the Vikings. Looks well, like that kick was a little bit low. No. And somebody was able to get their arm up there and That's block good. that. Nice job with 10-29 third quarter. Bremen up 20-13. to 13. So we'll be all right here. We're just down seven. Offense be on the field for Coach First Moriarty. time, second half. Absolutely. Coach Moriarty having a little chat with Isaac Randall there as he come off the field. I think it was Isaac there. He's fired up on all of them the way it looks. Yeah, he is. Conley's going deep again. I'm waiting for him to just break one of these. He's back there with Potter and also with Number 45, Dakota Gaff. Right down the middle, it's going to be fielded short by 34, Jace Potter. Brings that out to about the 33 yard line. Really, we've had a pretty good starting field position we have. drive. We have had good field position. Well, Tanner had some nice passes there in the first half, and 
good receiving core. Isaac had a good catch there on that drive that we had, and then. Yeah, that was a nice drive to end the half. And see if that gives them a little confidence yeah. in the passing game, or see if they kind of stick with that ground and pound how they started the first half out with. And then Shepard had that touchdown catch. It was nice. So everything's positive so far for Valley, besides the score. Nice hey. run. Mike Morrison up the middle. Gain of about four, I think. Looks like we've got Humes out here to the near side. He's got a little speed. He was on the track team. Gets Ooh, in the defense nice, back space. Nice. Gets a nice block. Looks like we've got a first down. Nice hard run up the middle for the first down. Who carried that? Was that um, 34 Potter? Mike Potter on that. Yeah. Jace Potter on the carry. Getting a couple running, another running back yeah. in the mix there. Petey gets the play at the sideline, takes it back out to the huddle. Looks like he's had good command of the field tonight yes, for just being a sophomore. You would know that he was a sophomore. I believe that he was a sophomore, and I believe this is his first varsity start. I don't believe he started the game last year. I don't think so. Yep. Gave it to the fullback up the middle again. Just a very short gain, if any. Jace Potter on the carry. No place to go that time. Going to be second and ten. Oh, I break the huddle and come up to the line. Second and ten. Humes goes off to the far side with Melanson in the wing. And Morrison there deep at the tailback. He's going to drop back to pass. He's got a nice pocket. Nice looking pass. Oh, Melanson, he's, he's there, caught. but out of bounds. That was a nice looking ball there. Yeah. A nice tight spiral and just a little bit out of bounds. And Melanson looked like he reeled it in, but just couldn't keep his feet down in bounds there. Yeah. Nice looking play. Well, we've got third down 10 now, Eric. What are you gonna dial up? I'm gonna think there's probably gonna be another pass play involved yeah. here, but we'll see. They bring Isaac Randall in, so see what he can do. Randall's wide to the far side. Oh. Looks like Trapiti got his feet tangled up there with the yep. center. One of the linemen, somebody probably stepped on their foot as they come back into their stance and just fell down for a loss of a yard and going to bring up fourth down. That was an unfortunate play. Yes, it was. Going to bring the punt team out. Snap got to oh, him that nice. time. He's going to break it off of the left side. He's got a little opening. Made it through a few defenders. He's still on his feet. Down inside the uh, 35. That was a nice return nice there by return. Brandon. That's Brant Norris there as the long snapper. The first ones were a little bit short, but he was over here practicing on the sidelines and ended up with a nice he snap got, there yeah. and got that dialed in. Some of those first game jitters, probably. I would say. Well, long snappers sometimes are hard to come by, and done a nice job that time. Looks like Bremen's going to start at their own 34, or Vikings 34. Yeah, they got a short field now. They're going to really test the Viking defense here. They really need to kind of step up, hold them here. 
Freeman comes out under center. Drops back for the pass. A little hitch and go oh. round over here. He's got a step on oh. Shapiti. And it was just overthrown. That's the second time they've overthrown one. Yep, as a defensive back there, you just want to stay in that back pedal. It's easy to want to come and jump that yep. hitch route and think you can get it, pick that and get a pick six, but you just got to open your hips and go run with the guy. And that guy was, has about six inches on Trapedi too, so there's no doubt he might be just a touch faster, but fortunately it was overthrown and we'll move on to second and 10. And that's what we'll take. Up the, oh, middle. up the middle again. We're 15, Jacob Wonder this time on the carry. Ball about the 11 yard line. Is there going to be enough room for another first down? I believe there the way is. It looks, yep. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be first and 10 on about the 11, doesn't it? Motion to the right, he's gonna hand it off. On a sweep out here to the right side, strings it out. Ooh. Nice job by Dakota Gather to string that out and make that tackle out here. Keep him to just a short gain. Be second and seven from the eight yard line. Okay, D, let's step it up one more time here. That defensive line just, or that offensive line, right. or Bremen rather, they're, they're, they're just, just really firing off yep. the ball and just. We've got our guys on roller skates right now. Okay, third down three. Could be a big down. No doubt it's two down territory. Yeah, I was gonna say, yep. Can hold him. It's going to be a really big momentum shift if we could just get a big goal line stand down here. Ooh, got a flag, a flag there. coming in as he gets. Hey, he looks like, yeah, one, one official signal and touchdown, the other one says he's short, but we do I have say, a flag. I'm going to say holding. <clears throat> I think that flag was in the area of the holding yep. as well. That's what the, the near official here is signaling yep. holding on the Lions. So All right, back, back him up. up and play third down again. There you go. A little under six minutes to go in the third quarter. Bremen 20, Vikings 13. Vikings will play at home next week. Going to do a little tailgate next week. Yeah, it should right. be a beautiful night. Yeah. We got CMA coming in. It's always a tough opponent. Quarterback's, Quarterback's going to keep it. it. He's going to roll out to the left. we got good coverage out there. Oh. He's going to keep it himself. Able to make one defender miss. It was able to, able to make Melanson miss there in the backfield. He just nearly had him for a loss, but then he uh, – was able to get it inside the five. It brings up fourth down. <clears throat> now we've got a really big goal line <laughs> stand. This is big. This is when the crowd ought to be in it. Yep. Your bad bucket! That was going to hear. <laughs> that was a little loud. <laughs> <laughs> 
There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Up under center, he's got three full house backfield. He's going to hand it off right there to oh. Mullins. Mullins. Touchdown. Gets in for the touchdown on that fourth and three play. And that extends the score to 26 to 13. With the extra point coming. Right now, that Bremen offensive line is just really kind of handling the front. They're kind of having their way. Ain't they? Having their way in the trenches a little bit. Ooh. Looks like he there missed that go. one. All right, it's going to make the score 26 to 13 mm. with 4.59 to go in the third quarter. Still plenty of time here in this game. Oh, yeah. The Vikings plenty of time. down by two yeah. scores and yep. plenty of time. Got some of them hanging their head just a little bit. There's no yeah. reason to be hanging your head right now. Nope, You're only not down 13. Yet. There's still plenty of time in the game. Coach Walker's walking the sidelines there, ready to get him fired up. So we got Coach Moriarty and Coach Weaver maybe talking a little strategy here, how we're going to attack this next series when we get the ball. Conley set deep to receive the kick. See if it gets to him. Last time it was a shorter kick. Fielded by that was second it? tier. Yeah, Potter I think last time got it. Second Potter, tier. Yep, absolutely. As the ball falls off the tee and the kicker has to reset it. It's gonna be returned by it's going to be Bryce Webster. Is that who that was no, over there? Uh, number 45, wasn't it? Oh, number 45, all right. Uh, yep. Dakota Gaff on yeah. that return. I saw the four and I thought it was, I didn't think it looked big enough yeah. to be Webster. Quite as tall. We've got Isaac Randall split out here to the near side. Trapedi under center. Gonna be a little option. Gives it to the fullback up the middle. Looks like Jace Potter on the carry. Jace Potter is just a sophomore. 6'2", 170. A lot of youth. Well, we got our second down play here. Tanner under center. We'll pitch out, to out Morrison. Nothing going again. Gonna bring up a third down and ten. See what the coaching staff dials up for this third and long. Morrison comes out and Conley comes Conley, in. Yep, Conley back in. Little speed guy. Maybe they try a little toss to the outside. Maybe they take it to the air. Had a little luck passing the ball at yes, times tonight. Yes, we have. So we can see what we can do here. I think we'll hit Webster on this one here. He's a big target. If he can get open across the middle. You know, Bremen's got some size there at the linebacker position. A little fake. He's turning. Oh, he's got some pressure coming. Kind of running. Gets it off. Oh. That was up for Dakota Gaff. Just a little bit out of his reach, wasn't it? Yep. But Trapedi no. was kind of scrambling too and yeah. kind of throwing across his body. That's a tough pass to make. Brings now up fourth, fourth and down. ten. As the punt team comes back on the field. Coming back out. 
Last time Norris had a good hike last time. Let's see what he does this time. Looks like know. Norris has got it dialed in now. Nice looking he? Staff, yep. snap there. Maybe not so nice looking punt though. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know if it was tipped or not. The guy know. was kind of close there. I don't there know. was definitely some pressure on him yeah, as he, he tried to punt that. It looked like he was kind of going like this, the player, like he might have tipped it. I don't know. But it's going to give Bremen a short field once again. Looks like they're going to get the ball at about the 40 yard line this time. 41. 26 13 Bremen with 3 15 third quarter. This is probably where they start pounding the ball a little bit now. I would think they try to time off. keep it on the ground and run some time off. And if we can keep them out of the end zone here, they get it in here, kind of breaks the game wide open a little yep. bit. <laughs> yep, up the middle for the Lions. Gain of about six or seven on the play. Got Chevy Teeter checking in for the defense. Number 55. That's the first time for him tonight in there? Uh, first time I noticed him, but yep. he might have been in earlier. Looks like he's kind uh, of pitch that a little bit. I think maybe that was a busted play, but. Looks like he stepped, stepped out. out about the two yard line. About the two or three yard line. It almost looked like a busted play in it the did, backfield. Did it, yeah. it looked kind of awkward. The fullback ran into the quarterback. Then he was able to pitch it out to, to Mullen there. And he got to the corner. And, Really, the only thing that kept him from the touchdown was himself stepping out of bounds. Morrison came up kind of gimpy on that after that play. Let's hope he can come over the sidelines and get checked out and be all right. Raymond's in the eye formation. It'll be the fullback right up the middle again, and they just force their way into the yep. end zone for a Lions touchdown. Takes the score to 32 to 13 now with 2.20 to go in the third quarter. With the extra point coming. We're gonna have to regroup now, aren't we? Just I think so, a little bit. Bremen looks like maybe they're gonna call a play here and go for two. I think you're right. Try to get back a couple of the points there. They've had two missed extra points tonight. Right up the middle once again. Oh, he oh, fumbled, he fumbled it that and one. And got it. No, nope. no good though. No he good fumbled though. it you before he was across. Just, yep. Can't advance that fumble. So right. Somebody was able to get their hand in there and punch that yeah, out. That's good. Keep that from being an extra point. So that's three extra points now missed by Bremen tonight. Okay. 32-13 with 2.20 to go in the third quarter. There's still plenty of time left plenty in this of time. game. Plenty of time. We have to get something going offensively here pretty quick, I think. So. Clock's still running. Just shut off, I believe. A few of the fans pointing and yelling at the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do best.
See if they try to kick away from Conley again. A little squib there. Bobbled around by Shepard and just fall on yep. it. That's a good, good move. Good job, Chap. Well, Valley will start at the 30-yard line. Seems like that's kind of been the yeah. starting point about every drive there. 30, 30 35 to, and 30 to 35 yard line. Been a couple drives since we've got it across midfield though. I think we need to put a drive together here and get some points before the end of the quarter. That would be nice, wouldn't it? He's going to be up under center this time and kind of a run and shoot spread look here. Drops back to pass. Got a little pressure coming. He's got a scramble. He's looking. He's got a man open. Right. Nice catch. And he still has Isaac. Go, Isaac. Isaac. Nice job, Isaac Randall. Makes a guy hey, miss after that catch. Yeah. Nice catch. That was a great, great job by Trapiti, too, keeping oh, his my. eyes up field yeah. on that scramble and finding him along the sideline. And he was just line. getting right to the yard marker there. He, had a nice he, he just. Good vision on that too, and good presence of mind to know oh. where he was and when to get rid of it. And nice. Look like he even glanced back over his shoulder to see how close the defenders were coming. I see a hanky out there though. Oh, I do see that now. You weren't oh. supposed to see that. Oh, that's on us. Looks like the play's coming back. Over the line, and he tapped his head. Is that over the line? Might have been. Maybe he was across the line of scrimmage when he threw it. Yeah. Nate probably got that on film too. I don't know. Maybe we can call for an instant yeah. replay. Challenge it. We'll challenge that one. <laughs> he was close. I know that. He was close. Official winds the play clock. Going to bring up first and 15. Well, we can do that play again. We can do a little marching here. Got the ball on the right hash mark. We got three wide receivers over to the short side of the field this time and drop back to pass and roll to that short side. Uh -oh. oh, he's gonna scramble a little bit. He's got a guy there. Got some time. He did a good job creating a little time for himself and able to get rid of it. Oh, but it looks like they're gonna mark it. They stepped out of bounds. Mark it. Uh, about at the 15 yard line? For about a 10 yard loss there, saying he Trapiti must have stepped out of bounds before he got rid of it. That's going to make it second and 25. Now this drive is going the wrong direction. We got a spread look again. PD under center, a quick pass there to Melanson. Got five of the yards yeah, back. Uh, yep. Kind of took a took a pretty solid hit there after he caught that. So it was a nice nice job of concentration there by Wes. Kept his yep. Kept the right on there and kept that ball. I don't know, Carlin. Here we go now. Third down. Third got injured, injured player here for Bremen. as they help the uh, Bremen Lion player off the field. Vikings come back out for a third and 21. It's a minute 24 to go in the third quarter. Bremen leads the game 34 to 13. Official gives a signal. Trapiti comes up under center. A spread look again. Going to drop back. Got some wheel oh. routes. He might have a guy. Oh, oh, drop. But was fortunate that one wasn't intercepted. Good defense by the Bremen secondary on that play. He was looking to hit Melanson down the sideline yeah. on a wheel route. Tanner got to stay in the pocket that time. Had a nice ball, so. Yeah, the offensive line, line did a nice job on yes, that they did. pass protection for sure. P 
Petey's back to punt the ball now. And gets the punt off. It's off to the right side. Goes out of bounds again along the Bremen sideline there. Looks like Bremen's going to start on their, their side of the 50 again. That's kind of been the trend here, hasn't it? Yeah, this Second third quarter's half. been played on this half of the field. The officials get Valley's kicking ball back from the Bremen sideline, bring it back over to our sideline. Bremen comes to the line, first and 10. Quarterback Ryan Caldwell under center. Little counter, no counter. nice oh, defense nice. There that you time. Go. Excellent job by Jalen Shepard there. That one didn't fool him on that, did it? Nope, not on that one. Loss of about a yard. Bring up second and 11 from the 45. Ben Adams getting the crowd fired He's up. Ready down to go, there. Isn't he? <laughs> yep. Gonna hand it off. Nowhere to go. He makes a move. Gets to the outside. Stiff Just arm. arm right? Ooh. And then the kind of delivers the blow oh, there yeah. as he finishes that run, doesn't he? But it looks like uh, Conley's able to yeah, knock like him out of bounds. Yeah. Way to step up there. That's yeah. a big running back to take that on. That is a big speed. running back. Gonna be third down and scoreboard says four. I'm gonna call it five. I'm going with you. From right in front of us here, we got the five. 38 yard line. Just 16 seconds to go in the quarter, so most likely will be the last play of the quarter. Freeman's gonna come up under center. Tight end of the near side. He's gonna fake oh. it, he's gonna roll out for the pass. We'll play action. He's got Ooh, a man. Good catch there. Shepard says it hits the ground. The official says he caught it. Yeah, that looked like a catch. I think we'll have to go with the official's yeah, call. I think we will, but it did look like a catch. That makes a first down for Bremen inside the 25 yard line now. Chains are set. Clock's going to run. run and Looks that's like gonna they're going to end the third quarter. End the third quarter here. Yep. After end of three, Bremen 34, Valley 13. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. RTC Fiber Communications is now serving the community of Argus. Now you can enjoy the incredibly fast speed and reliability of fiber internet. Stream movies, surf the web, or watch your favorite local videos on RTC4.com. All from RTC Fiber Communications, now serving Argus. Give RTC a call today or check us out online at www.rtc1.com. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master Instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. 
Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. Just got word that the Rochester Zebras beat the Wallbacks Apaches 8-0 tonight. Going to start the fourth quarter here in Bremen where the Lions lead the Vikings 34-13. Third quarter was just about all Bremen that time, wasn't it? It really was, nice. and it was played on the, their half yeah. of the field, yeah, too. They always had a short field on the offense there to go. Be a little pitch out. Get out there for some contain. He's got a lead blocker. Gets to the corner and finally spreads him out and gets out of bounds. Looks like first down for him. Look like uh, number 35, Noah Miller out Noah there. Miller. Was able to kind of spread that play out and stretch it out to the sidelines, force him out of bounds. Freeman comes to the line. Eye formation. Tight end to the left. And we have power play off to the right. A little gain there. Little gain. Josh Hazard was able to get a hold of his jersey and hold on tight until he got a couple of his teammates there to help make the tackle. Second and seven coming up here. Ball's on the 11-yard line as Bremen threatens to punch it in the end zone for yet another touchdown. A little lob up over the oh, middle. Oh, touchdown. He found his tight end. Yeah. A little, little poster out there just lobs it up over the defense and he snuck behind everybody. He did. Nice play. It was a nice catch for uh, Bremen Lions there. 89's not in our roster, so I do not know who that is that made the catch, but nonetheless, takes the score to 40 to 13 now with an extra point coming up. Point and is good. That one was up and through the up. That makes it 41-13 with 11 minutes to go in this game. Return team huddles up as Coach Patrick gives them a little pep talk. Kind of see what the offense can dial up this time. See if we can get, get a going. little drive going here. Run a little time off the clock. Maybe get down. Maybe punch it in for another score. Yep. At this point, it'd be nice to run a little time off the clock. Give the defense a little the breather. breather. They need a breather, don't they? Because they've been on a short field here the third quarter, starting the fourth. They have. If nothing else, get the field position get the field. Yep. changed. Need to get that changed. around. And a nice drive. Just get some momentum. Build up again. Nice kickoff. That one's going to be returned. There, oh, you, there go. you go. There's you go, big boy. There you go. There's your field. Looks like Conley brings Conley. it out across the 50 yard line with a nice return. You've been calling that all night. Conley's could, got that speed. And you you've been just, calling it. So. Yeah, you could just see that uh, potential there all night on those kick returns. 
he hadn't been able to get one the last couple kickoffs. It was kicked short or off to the to Gaff or somebody, one of the side guys there in the back. And that time Conley was able to get a nice return out to the 46-yard line. Brings up first and 10 for the Vikings. Webster's tight end to the right here on the near side. Got two wings and PD up under center. He's going to fake the handoff up the middle and he's going to scramble again. Picks up a couple blockers. Oh. We have a flag. He had a nice run, but with all that chaos in the backfield, I'm afraid it was either a hold or a block in the back. Yep. I'm, I'm not sure which one there, but he threw it right, they threw that flag right at one of the Viking blockers. Yep. Holding. A replay first down. Coach Moriarty doesn't appear to agree with that call. <laughs> or he's just yelling at the offensive line or something, huh? I think he's uh, he's doing something. He's getting on the official a little bit. Okay. Go, they wind the clock. Makes it for first and 28 now. That just hurts when there's a holding penalty behind the line of scrimmage, and that's a, from the point of the foul type of penalty. So then it backs him up another 10 yards and drop back for the pass. He fit, pump fakes oh, he's it. Nice. He's got a man. Pass was just off target there. Looked like he had Humes at, had a step on his defender. Yeah. There was still a safety up over the top, but. There was a possibility of dropping that pass in there, but not able to connect and brings up second and 28. Tanner under center again. Draw back to pass it. Little screen Ooh. pass. I think he was, he was going for uh, Cameron Parker, Parker sneaking out of the backfield there. there. Yep. One of the Bremen defensive lineman was able to 56, get 56, knocked it down yep, for Bremen. Get his hand up there and knock it down. Wyatt Pollard for the Lions. Petey drops back, a little pump fake. Oh, Looks the yeah. other way. Oh, oh. He was going for Shepard. He, yep. he had Melanson and Shepard both right there in the same area. And fortunately, the Bremen defensive back just dropped it. Dropped out. Really. Yeah. I mean, he had a gift there to him. Justin Zumbrun on the coverage. Now fourth and 28. Set back to punt. Good punt. It's going to be returned. Breaks a couple tackles. Heads back towards the middle of the field there. And looks like Isaac Randall and uh, Josh Hazard in on that tackle. Okay, D, here we go now. 10 minutes to go in the game, 41-13. And we swung, the, we swung the field position by a little bit. A little Bremen's bit. at least starting on the other side of the 50 this time. And that holding call there kind of hurt that one little drive we had there. Just kind of. Yeah, that holding call definitely uh, stalled that yeah. any chance that drive, and that was on a a nice little scramble by yep. Trapedi too, and 
was going to be second and short, second and five maybe, and that backed it up and made it first and 28. Just not able to overcome that. Up the middle. Line still pushing them. Looks like about a seven yard gain. Maybe, maybe six. Almost looked like a rugby game there. <laughs> it did. A big pile of players moving down the field. It's like a game gain of about five. Hey, Camden Tucker there calling the plays for the defense. He's out playing middle middle linebacker here. Nice, nice defense there by the Vikings. Brings up a third down. Like Dakota Gaff had a nice tackle there. Freeman under center in the I formation. Little pitch out to the right. Ooh, cut it back Makes in. Makes the guy move. Yeah. Miss. Still going. It looked like uh, Gaff again on in on that tackle. You know, Gaff's doing a nice job on yes, the defensive yes, end, isn't yep. he? Yep. Called his name a few times. He's flying around out there playing hard. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. Every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. I am for the child. I'm for the child that has been abused or neglected. I'm for the child that has been moved from foster home to foster home. I'm for the child born addicted to drugs. You can't control where abused and neglected children come from, but you can help with where they end up. Lift up a child's voice, a child's life. Volunteer to be an advocate for a child in need of a voice. Call Casa of Fulton County to learn more. Vikings come out of their timeout there. Wanted to talk about that a little bit. Lions have first and 10 from the 34. It's 8.29 to go. Bremen leads 41 to 13. Bremen comes out, he's got two wide receivers to the near side. Tight end switches shifts there to the left side. Give me a little blast up. The right hand side there. Maybe gain a two. Looks like maybe Camden Tucker in on that tackle. Along with Jose Rivera.
You know, Bremen's offensive line, they go, they go 242, 257, 200, 185, and 283. So they've really got some size they up front there. They do have some size. They've only got one senior out of that group. Wow. Four, four uh, juniors to start. And the start running the back game. was a, yeah, the running back was a junior. junior. Say they're going to have a, have a good season ahead of them. And I do too. Yep. Got to run off to the, the left-hand side. side. Look like Cam Tucker on the tackle. First down for Bremen, though. 41-13, 6.52 in the fourth quarter. Wes Melanson comes off the field. Take a playoff as a substitute comes in. Bremen comes to the line now. High formation. Oh, looks like he fakes the handoff and then just kind of runs out of bounds. That might have been a little miscommunication yeah. between the quarterback and running back there. Yeah, Miller was number 35 is running down. Loss of maybe a yard on the play. The second down and 11 now with 6.24 to go. Ball's on the 23-yard line. It's been a couple of times though Bremen's had some busted plays and been to their advantage. It has been. We've been able to, to get them in the second and long and even some third and longs, and then they break off a big play, and, you know, a 15-yard play yeah. or so, and yep. pick up that first down and just keeps the momentum on their side and keeps the drive alive. Toss out. Oh, nice. nice play. Nice job by Dakota Gath there. He ran that one down. Very good. He pulled his number quite a bit tonight, it seems like. He's done a nice job there. Yes, he has. Bremen shifts tight end. And a handoff off the right hand side this time. He finds a hole and he runs it down for about a gain of maybe eight or nine. Eight or nine so should be fourth down. Now they're back to that fourth and five situation. This is where their offensive line tonight has just been able to, to really get that push and just they've been able to run it up the middle to get that first down in these situations. See if the Vikings defense can get a stop here. Going up the middle to the fullback. Looks like they've got him stopped. Hey, we right. held him that time. All right. Bryce Webster was able to get a hold of him from the backside there as he was ran into the back of his line and pull him backwards. Nice stop. Brings out the offense for the Vikings. There we go. 4.38 to go in the game. 41-13. Kind of, pin, kind of uh, pin deep inside the 20 here down on the 16-yard line. Put a little drive together here to maybe end the game with some points. Oh, we got a new quarterback in the game now. Looks like we've got Noah Miller in at quarterback. Pitches it out to Morrison. Morrison cuts it back into the middle there and nowhere to go. 
gain bring, of maybe a yard on that play, wasn't there? Yep, bring up second down and seven. Noah Mallor comes under center. Motion hand to the fullback back. there. Is that? Potter? Jace Potter, yep. Bring up a third down and six, maybe four, I guess. Hand it to the fullback again, Potter. Potter. Looks like a valley first down. He's able to pick up the first down. Move the chains a little bit. Down to 314 to go in the game now. The Vikings trail the Lions 41 to 13. Miller drops back, back for a pass. Ooh. A little bit behind Shepard there. Yeah, it wasn't a, wasn't a whole lot of room. He tried yep. to just squeeze it in. Yep. Falls incomplete. So now Miller's got a attempted pass under his belt. Yep. Like to see that. Well, fake pitch, and Miller's going to oh. keep it himself. Good hard run by Miller. It was a nice job taking it out across the 35-yard line to the 36. Going to be about third and three, maybe. two or three. Yeah, yep. they got it. Here, Mark, a third and one. We'll <laughs> go with that. A little counter oh. play. Gaff on the carry. Oh, Another first down. Almost able to break that <laughs> tackle, oh. wasn't he? Yep. No, Miller brings Vikings to the line. Down to the two minute mark left here in the fourth quarter. Shepard goes in motion. Miller keeps it again. Another gain of about five on the play. You know, I think the coaches have probably seen a lot to build on this oh, tonight I think for so next too. week. Yeah. You know, they've definitely seen some things to work on too. Another good run. They'll go back and watch the film and they'll see where they uh, made some positive things. Next week will be uh, at CMA or at, at Valley Valley against CMA, we'll be broadcasting live that night. So you're you're watching this broadcast after the 
the game. Next week you can tune in and, and listen live and watch live as we're first home game of the season. Right here on RTC TV4. Yep, Potter with the ball again. About a four yard gain. Second and six at the 35. 30 seconds to go. Wouldn't have to run another play, but I'm guessing they're going to try to get one more yeah. play in here. Why not, huh? Maybe take a shot at the end zone, maybe, or just hand it off again and see what I may think, happen. I think it's going to go to Shepard. I think they're uh, back to that run and shoot look. He's going to drop back for the pass. Oh. Got that wheel route. He's got a man open for a second there. Yeah, the he Freeman, did. Freeman secondary did a nice job of closing in on that. Yep. Looked like he looked right and threw left. That so. pass was intended for Bryce Fisher. We got about six seconds in this ball game. <laughs> Gonna be the last play of the game. Noah Miller under center. He's going to pitch it out to Morrison. He's up the middle there for a nice gain. Going to be one more first down <laughs> as the clock runs right out. out. That's the ball game. 41-13, Bremen. The fireworks go off here in Bremen for the Bremen Lions nice. victory. Nice. That's going to conclude the opening weekend yeah. of high school football for Tippecanoe Valley, where they um, lose to the Bremen Lions 41-13. We look forward to... Uh, Seeing you next Friday night with the first home game against CMA. We'll be broadcasting live on RTC TV 4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com.